Oppo Reno3 Pro will make its India debut on March 2nd. We have already seen multiple teasers and with what I have seen, I can say that the Reno3 Pro that will launch in India will be very different than what we have already seen in the Chinese market. So let me compare it and give you an idea of how different they are. So without keeping you waiting anymore, let's begin. First of all, let's start with the display. The Reno3 Pro that was launched in China had a curved display with a single punch hole cut out in the corner. But for India, it's gonna have a flat display that comes with a dual selfie cameras. Also, I think many people love flat displays, so it's a win-win situation. The display size remains the same that is 6.5 inch AMOLED display with 90Hz refresh rate. Next, the main highlight of this phone is the camera configuration. For selfies, the Indian variant gets a 44 megapixel and 2 megapixel dual punch hole cameras. Also, this will be the first handset in the world to offer this setup. And on the rear, the quad camera setup consists of a 64 megapixel main camera, a 13 megapixel telephoto lens, 8 megapixel ultra wide angle camera, and a 2 megapixel monochrome lens. The telephoto lens, which I mentioned, has an optical zoom of 2x, a hybrid zoom of 5x, and a digital zoom of up to 20x. The camera will also have features such as ultra steady video recording, night mode, and the ability to shoot 108 megapixel images via oversampling. In Chinese variant, you get a single 32 megapixel front facing camera, and on the rear, there is a 48 megapixel main. The secondary camera is a 13 megapixel telephoto. Third, we have the 8 megapixel ultra wide angle lens, and finally, a 2 megapixel monochrome lens. So looking at the specs alone, we can say that the Indian variant have much better optics and one additional camera lens for better depth sensing for selfies. Now coming to the most important aspect of the phone, the processor. Chinese variant of Reno3 Pro comes with the Snapdragon 765G which is a 5G chipset. And as you already know, in India there is no 5G connectivity as of yet. So surely the company will think of bringing a different chipset. But which chipset will that be remains the biggest question. Rumors suggest we could see the latest MediaTek Helio P95 chipset which was launched recently or it could be 700 series Snapdragon chipset. In settings section it shows octa-core so that's something we will know at the time of launch. What are your thoughts on the processor? Do let me know in the comments below. Coming to the batteries, there is no difference in both variant. You get 4025mAh battery with 30W WOOC fast charging. The phone will be available in three colors, such as Aurora Blue, Midnight Black, and Sky White. Pricing details will be confirmed on March 2nd. Along with that, the Enco Wireless Buds are also set to share the stage. So that's it for today guys. Hope to see you in the next one. Peace out.